All right, my friends, so you've been seasoning, you've been searing, you've been roasting and or braising. What you have now is a roast at rest. You've patiently waited for it to rest. And now, my friends, it's time to carve. But what do you do? Well, you gotta take a gander at it. You gotta look at it. And you gotta examine what's going on with the roast. Now, if you'll pardon me, I have clean hands. I'm gonna show you what's going on with the roast. Oh boy, this thing is gonna be so juicy. I can't wait. So we're gonna look at this and examine uh, where the grain is. And the grain is the direction that the muscle fibers are going. Uh, in this, which is a bottom round roast, they are running this way. So we want to carve perpendicularly to the grain. Now, uh, to assist in our carving, uh, we could certainly use a paper towel. Uh, to assist in our carving, we could certainly use a standard knife, but if you really want to up your thin slice game and you don't have a ton of uh, manual dexterity, uh, I recommend Grandma's classic, the electric knife. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I'm so excited about this. So the grain is curving off a little bit here, so I'm actually going to go at a bias for my first couple of slices. All right, here we go. Gentle sawing motions. <laughs> oh. Juicy, tender. All the things that you want out of a roast. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me uh, carve another piece for you and let's analyze it. So my friends, as you can see here, uh, by carving against the grain, naturally, uh, these fibers want to pull apart. You see how it's more like a cross section there? That's exactly what you're going for. For more tips, head to sdbeef.org.